Apple's iPhone 5 has been released and interestingly, the biggest criticism of it seems to be that people might have to, oh no, buy an adapter that costs $29 in order for the iPhone 5 to work with things like iHome devices and speaker docks and what have you. People really, really seem ticked off about this and I kind of find it amusing. Let's read some of the comments from our story about this new lightning adapter. Parish MP wrote, adapter, no. Unless you only have one device, it will be adapters with an S, unless you want to keep swapping the thing between devices. Really? That's your biggest complaint, that you might have to swap something that weighs pretty much what a feather weighs between devices? It's not that big of a deal. Buy one, take care of it, don't lose it, and then you're only spending $29 and not hundreds of dollars because you stupidly decided you need to have five of these things. Just crazy. Dogs forever. It's time for the connector to evolve, Apple executive Phil Schiller announced at Apple's unveiling event. No, what he really means is it's time to gouge our customers for a ton more money. They now all have to go out and buy entirely new adapters to replace the four to 10 old adapters they've accumulated over the years. Since we've become stagnant and aren't coming up with any innovations, we had to find some way to milk money out of our customers. Again, really? Why do you have multiple adapters? Just buy one. I, I really don't get it. It's very strange that people think that they're gonna have to go out and buy multiple adapters. And as for the you know, criticism that Apple isn't really evolving or innovating, yes, is the iPhone 5 that much better than the iPhone 4S? You know, it's a nice improvement. It's not gonna make anyone say, wow, this is a revolutionary new device. But you know, the connector, the new lightning connector, it's called lightning for a reason. It's going to allow for faster transmission of data. And that is something that is good. So why are people complaining that Apple is taking something that it had in existence since the first iPhone in 2007 and upgrading it? So they should have stuck with the old connector? Come on. Finally, someone I think has a voice of reason because they agree with me, Wicked75. If you're worried about spending $30 on an adapter, then you probably shouldn't be spending a couple hundred dollars on a phone. Amen to that. Don't complain about the $30 adapter when you can buy a phone that may not be as fancy that's a lot cheaper. I really don't get it. There are many reasons to maybe say that the iPhone 5 isn't that great, shouldn't be worth as much as it is, but this whole adapter gate thing, give me a break.